A resistor is in the shape of a spherical shell with an inside radius A covered with a conducting material and an outside surface of radius B also covered with a conducted material. They probably meant conducting by a G. Uh, material assuming a uniform resistivity of rho. Calculate the resistance between the conducting surfaces. Okay. So, first start by drawing a picture. So we have inside and an outside. And these are spheres despite my drawing. This will be A. This will be B. And some people will memorize the definition of resistivity. Some people memorize the definition of resistance. It's however it works for you. So I memorize that R equals rho times uh, length divided by area. And the way I know this is if you have a very resistive material, you're going to have a lot of resistance. Um, if you have a lot of length that the, that the uh, current has to go through, you're going to have a lot of resistance. And then if you have a very uh, thick wire, it's going to offer more parallel paths, basically. And so you're going to lower your resistance, which is why you divide by A. So then for this, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the middle and basically integrate our way out. We're going to look at this as a whole bunch of planes, sort of. So disks. So I'm going to start with this inner loop right here. And I'm going to cut it and then flatten it out. And it's going to look like this. And this is going to have a height of delta R, a little thickness, infinite, not infinitesimally small, but very small because it's a delta. When I convert it over to a dr, then it'll be infinitesimally small. And the area, I'm going to use, I can use either the inside area or the outside area. Doesn't matter because they'll be similar. And this area right here is going to be the area of a sphere, which is going to be 4 pi r squared, 4 pi r squared. And you might be thinking, well, should I use the inside outside? As I said, the inside would just be 4 pi r squared. The outside would be 4 pi r plus delta r squared. Hop, hop, squared, which would be 4 pi r squared plus delta r times r plus delta r squared. These both have delta r in them, so when you take the limit as delta r goes to zero, those become zero. They're effectively the same thing. So probably more nuanced than you cared about. That's okay. It's worth appreciating. All right, so now um, we're going to... Uh, let's see, we probably should look at what rho is... Oh, maybe. Yes, so that's area. This is length. Length is delta R. And so we can say that a little bit of resistance, delta big R for resistance, equals rho times L, the length of one of these uh, interior shells. It's going to be delta R. And then the area is going to be 4 pi R squared. And so to get the total resistance here, we're going to integrate from A to B. So that will give us a total big R. I'm going to factor out the constants, which is rho and 4 pi. Um, this gives us R to the negative 2. I'm going to convert delta R to a dr, just to say that we're going from a small section to an infinitesimally small. Um, so the integral of r to the negative second is r negative 1, r to the negative 1. So this becomes rho over 4 pi, r to the negative 1. And there's supposed to be a negative there, but I'm just going to flip the limits of integration, as one is wont to do. Plugging in a and b, we get rho over 4 pi times 1 over a minus 1 over b. And this is going to be a positive number because we know A is less than B. Therefore, when you divide by a smaller number, you get a 
bigger overall number, then we do divide by bigger number, just like one half is bigger than one third. So we get a positive number overall, which makes sense because resistance should be positive. Let's see if that answers the question. Assuming blah, blah, blah. Calculate the resistance between the two surfaces. The resistance is going to be uh, rho over 4 pi. That comes from the area of a sphere. 1 over a minus 1 over b. Yep. And that's how we approach this one. To kind of recap what we did there, <clears throat> we took the definition of resistance. Some people write in terms of resistivity. Either way is fine. I think the definition of resistance like this is more intuitive. Uh, we then looked at integrating from the inside to the outside radially and so you doing that we basically cut a small shell out of our shell, bigger shell I guess flattened it out looked at it as kind of a uh, shape and the area of this shell is going to be 4 pi r squared because that's the interior of the sphere that's the area of the sphere 4 pi r squared and the length, or the height, of each of these is just going to be delta r. So then we plugged it into r. We said a small bit of resistance is this, integrated from a to b. Got an answer. Hope that helped. See you next time.